Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you a visual effect that you can create for your videos or films that I believe is called the motion trail effect. This effect was done in the Matrix, that's one movie that it was done in. Uh, it, it's not the bullet time effect, it was done in the same scene as the bullet time, but right before that effect. If you don't know what effect I'm talking about, it's a little bit like a display pointer trail for your mouse. If you have this enabled, your mouse will show a trail behind it as you move it across the screen. I have added this effect to my horror film, The Book of the Mummy. I apply this to Susie as she screams psychotically in the asylum, and it helps set the mood for this particular scene. I'm also going to add this effect to my upcoming film. I add this effect to the sun to show that the sun is on drugs. So, after showing you some examples, I'm going to jump right into Adobe Premiere and I will show you how to do this effect. I'll be right back. Alright, so we're now in Adobe Premiere and I have made a new project and let me import some footage real quick. This is the footage that was shot for the filming. Let me drag this clip into the timeline to make a new sequence. Okay, so this effect doesn't have to be done in Adobe Premiere. It can be done in any application that has the ability to create duplicates of layers and adjust the opacity and to move tracks over a few frames. So you need to be able to see individual frames. So, I'm going to use Adobe Premiere, so this process would work the same way for you if you use Adobe Premiere. You would press and hold the Alt key. You would click your video layer, assuming that it's on video track 1, and then move it up to video track 2. And then you want to unclick, and then you want to release the Alt button. So then, what you want to do is you want to click your duplicate layer and you want to go to the effect controls panel and you want to adjust the opacity to 50% or 75% or some percent that's below 100% that allows you to see the original video layer below. I'm just going to do 50. So now that you have changed the opacity for the duplicate layer, you can duplicate this duplicate and that will also save the setting for the opacity. So let's duplicate this layer once again and you don't have to duplicate it again. If you just want one layer as part of the trail, you can do so. I'm going to include more layers as part of the trail and I'll be right back. Alright, so now I have created some duplicates that's on tracks 5 through 2. So what I want to do is I want to zoom in on the timeline to see the frames and I'm just gonna select the first duplicate and I'm gonna I'm actually gonna move this over three frames to the right. And I'm, I'm gonna actually move all of these duplicates in multiples of three frames. So this one six frames to the right this one 9, and this one 12. So now that we have like a staircase, I guess, for these uh, tracks. So let's expand our timeline again. And if you look carefully at the end of the timeline, the ends of the duplicate layers have actually gone past the end of the original layer. So if you don't like that it looks like it fades out, if you don't like that, you can actually just cut the ends of these duplicates so that they line up with the end of the original clip. So you want to go to the razor tool or just press C on your keyboard. If you have the snap feature enabled, you might want to use that to help you uh, line up your razor tool with the end of the original clip and just cut the ends of these duplicate layers. 
All right, and then what you want to do is you want to select the ends of these and just hit the delete button. All right, so that is how you can do this effect. And it looks, I think it looks pretty cool and it helps set the mood for a certain look that you're trying to convey. And uh, let me just play this back to you so you can see what it looks like. So this is my friend Coda. He plays the actor for The Sun and he is clapping at the beginning of this uh, shot. So you kind of see like a trail of his hands clapping. And he's like moving the screenplay out of the way and you can kind of see his hand, a, tra a trail of his hand move once he does that. All right, so that is pretty much it with this tutorial. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. I will get back to them as soon as I can. And thank you guys for watching.